Hi, this is Anna here at ArtReach. This is week four of our 2021 art journal project. This week's art prompt is to create a monochromatic page. So mono means one and chromatic refers to color. So you're going to use one color to decorate your page. Monochromatic sounds like it might be kind of boring, especially for somebody like me. I love tons and tons and tons of color. So it's hard for me to sometimes scale back and work with just a single color. But even with one color, you can get lots of different variations in how light and dark it is and what other colors you've blended with it. And you can also get variations with the different types of media you use. You can use your watercolor paint, you can use your paper, you could use things from around your house. Maybe if you're working with the color blue, you've got scraps of junk mail that have blue on them. Maybe you have a piece of blue fabric that you wanna cut up and glue into your sketchbook. Think of how many different ways you could use the same color. Let's get started. All right, for our monochromatic page, I looked back at my color wheel and kind of thought about what colors I wanted to use, then looked at the paper and decided on these two that are similar shades. Played around with how I wanted to lay those out on my page. To get it the right size, I just put it underneath the page, traced around it, and then cut off that extra. One thing I like to play around with is tearing paper instead of cutting it with the scissors. It just gives you that unfinished edge that sometimes is kind of fun. I labeled my page with monochromatic. And broke down what that word means. You can kind of see that over the construction paper, some of the paint showed up really well and some of it didn't, especially as it dried. But I decided I kind of liked that and went with it. I decided to add some splatters of paint on there as well. I blotted a little bit to make sure it wasn't too wet to pack away. And check. Here's how my page turned out for this week. I chose this sort of raspberry, fuchsia, purple, pink color um, because I loved the paper that we had in that shade. I also found this other one that is really similar, just like a little bit lighter, brighter version of it and layered those on here along with different varieties of our watercolor paint in that same color family. If you wanna show us what you came up with for this week, feel free to tag us on Facebook and Instagram at ArtReachRedWing. Happy creating.